Hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> can June, you can me? you see me? Because I'm all the way in like Spain right now. Hi, Nick. I can see you. Hello. But it's frozen. Can you see me or hear me okay? Yeah, I see you. We got you. How's it going? Oh, hey, y'all. Hello, hello. I'm 27, but I have the technical capacity of like a 76 year old. So thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Listen, first Where of all, all I just want to kick off by I'm I'm in Spain. Um and Nick is where are you, Nick? New York. I'm in New York. I, I would be over He's there. He's on tour. For the for the opening. Right. Because we're on tour, we have all these COVID protocols and things, so I I'm I'm not able to go, which is such a bummer. But we're sending lots of friends and people. Oh, that... so many friends are coming. Yes, I'm very oh, excited to so see. Excited. Um, how are you feeling? One day away from from opening night. Yeah, it's really, really exciting and also comes in waves. So I think because my head has just been down in the work, I have not allowed myself to truly be like, oh, your dream is coming true right now, actually. But in moments where I like by myself and just walk into the theater, I get like waves of gratitude and excitement. And I think at this point, we're just ready to share with people this thing that we made, you know. So exciting. I mean, to um, me, yeah. please, just like as a bird, like a, you know, fly on the wall, I am just so fascinated by the medium itself. And I feel really, really privileged yeah. to be involved in the show. I just think it's amazing. And plus the fact that you're making history is, it just makes me so happy to be part of, you know, your journey. So thank you, Nick, for having me tag along. And thank you, Zayn, for having me too. I'm so <laughs> yeah, excited no about this. Thank you all. No, what do you think just... Out of curiosity, what do you think, like, people, when they're thinking about the show, like, what do you think they should expect when they come in? They should expect uh, to lean forward as opposed to lean back, to nice. quite quickly become a, a community of people that are collectively telling a story together. Um and they should expect to laugh real hard for about two hours. Um, and then, you know, there are some secret uh, kind of emotional punches that, that um, we want to surprise people with that happen in the show that uh, I think people should, maybe if they don't think they should bring a tissue, they should maybe bring a tissue or two. <laughs> oh, I have so much FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's, a, it's a phenomenal cast. I I have some hits with a few people in the cast, with Norm Lewis, uh, right. Michael Urie, um, obviously E. Clay, who's who's on the producing side, but, um, you know, feel very connected to uh, this show by way of, of my relationships. But I was looking through your Instagram before, and it appears that, that we had met um, a long time ago uh, as well. <laughs> on <Yes. three. laughs> okay, so on funny what? story about that. I mean, that yeah. I, uh, the first week of college, I went to the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in Los Angeles. And the first week, I think maybe this was in 2012, and we were walking down Hollywood and we saw you and your brother. And of course we were like, oh my God, Hollywood stars. And um, so we so stopped funny. and was like, hi, we just showed up, please be nice to us. And y'all were so nice to us and took a picture. And me and my friends laughed at the picture because if you look at it, when I'm like holding y'all, there's like a nice big gap in between the arm and the hip. <laughs> and we call that the professional gap, which a lot of people <laughs> don't know about. But yeah. I, you know, I invented the pro professional gap once I met you. And then when I took the picture with you again, we compared pictures and the professional gap remains. And Unbelievable. Uh, I just think people should know about that. <laughs> that is so funny. Well, I'm glad I was, we, I'm glad we were nice to you. Uh, because this and also that the professional gap later. is a real thing. The professional yeah. gap is real, you know. It's real. I don't know very, you well enough crucial. to put my hip next to your hip. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> exactly. It's too close. <laughs> too much. Too close. <laughs> so um, back up. There are also you, a bunch you... of sorry, Nick and Go I ahead. keep asking at the same time. No, I just wanted to again curiosity. 
There are a bunch of debuts in this show, aren't there? Yes. I think we have 30 um, Broadway debuts, counting people on stage and off stage. Yeah. Whoa. That's, crazy. That's incredible. Yeah. Oh, and it's just what the arts need, you know, more people coming in to make it. Um, yeah. You know, just inclusion and, and opportunity, which, you know, people have lacked for such a long time in the medium of entertainment. In entertainment, it makes me so excited. That's amazing. Yeah. Congratulations. And these are just to say, these are 30 people who are super ready, who have been ready, who um, are not just dipping yeah. their toe in the work for the first time but um, are actually getting the opportunity to have their work supported in a different kind of way, which to me Opening is doors. a big part of what Broadway is about. is like actually being able to sustain yourself um, better yeah. than you did maybe when you were working, you know, off, off Broadway uh, on something that was maybe less sustainable. Oh, that's so amazing. Well, there's, there's no place, no place like, like, theater and, and Broadway specifically. Um, and it's so nice, you know, as I've been here, not being able to go in and see shows, unfortunately, at this time, but just to right. see the, the life back back in the theater community and, and to see, you know, friends and, and people that I've, I've known over the years doing what they love and bringing joy to people's lives, which is sure to be the case with, with uh, Chicken and Biscuits. Um, yeah. what, are you, what are you most excited about, uh, you know, for, for the uh, upcoming opening tomorrow night and beyond? Um, you know, obviously you, you, you mentioned what people should expect to see in the show, but you personally, um, uh, what's the thing that, that, that has you buzzing going into this big opening? Yeah, I mean, we kind of talked about the, the whole history making aspect. And I think, I think about that sometimes being, you know, the youngest black director in Broadway history, being the second youngest director in Broadway history, but I'm, it is kind of abstract. What's less abstract for me is being a part of this historical moment that this community is going through, which is a change in the way that we uh, do our work as it relates to how we treat each other. Um, we're stepping into a season that is completely unprecedented coming in. I would say out of a pandemic, but the pandemic is still going on and trying to get our industry back on its feet. You know, this is something in 10 years we will all read about. Um, so to have a show that is um, an all black cast minus Michael Yuri, who we've adopted, so it's all good. Um, <laughs> a comedy. Um, a show that stars women of a certain age, um, a show that's about healing, be a part of this historical moment we're in. Um, seven Black shows are coming to Broadway, by which I mean shows written by Black people. Um, just means a lot that I get to have my voice be a part of that, um, of this moment, this season. And, you know, I hope it is an opportunity to continue to have seasons that look like this. Um, and so that this moment really marks just the genesis of something. Um, and then that, you know, the fruit of that, I'm just like really fascinated to see, you know, what happens. I mean, it does feel like, years. it does feel like this moment that's happening is you know, has been demanded. It's not, and that has been worked for. And, you know, all of these people that you're talking about that are debuting are ready, are ready to get into the workforce or have been ready. And, you know, we've lacked opportunity for such a long time and we're not going back. Yeah. We're, it's not going to happen. Yeah. You know, this is, no, this and, is a yeah, conversation and a movement is... which is going to keep moving forward, I feel. Yeah. It's either going to change gracefully or it's going to change kicking and screaming, but it's going to change. And so that's exciting. For me. It's going to change. I did want to ask you again, out of curiosity, as all three of us, I mean, I started working when I was a teen. Nick started working when he was like seven. We've always had some, you know, we've had moments in our careers where people have said, you know, you're the youngest, blah, 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 to ever do this. Or you're the youngest, blah, 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 to ever do this. And I was thinking about, like, do you feel that your creativity and where you stand and, and your medium and your art and your expression, I mean, age is just a number, right? So when we are, you know, when, even in the show, when you're casting, 
actors or like you said female actors of a certain age just flipping the narrative on all of these things is um is just so great so do you feel like you're that's something that you know is in on your mind or do people bring it up more more than you think about um i i i really think the thing that i think about the most as it relates to my age is just like the gratitude that i get to express at this level knowing that hopefully in 10 years i'm an even greater artist um and that some folks don't get to exercise that part of themselves until they're much uh much older so i just felt grateful for that it also means that i get to like make all my mistakes publicly um you know i didn't go to grad school for directing um and so like life is my grad school and you know i with this big broadway show everyone will know it you know to their standards whether or not it succeeds or doesn't succeed and so i think that i think about um just having this moment prepare me for what will eventually come um and if i thought that this was where i was supposed to be at 40 which i think i initially thought before this opportunity came along um it just kind of makes me think okay this is actually preparing me for something that i don't even see yet um and pay attention to every single moment learn every single lesson you can uh treat people as well as you can be treating them uh because there's something else coming and you'll need you know everyone all hands on deck to make it possible totally well, i think you're you're exactly where you're supposed to be at exactly when you're supposed to be there um and you know to to your point about this kind of being um your your training in real time uh that's such an exciting thing and i think sometimes you just have to jump and and know you're going to find your footing and and you certainly have and uh we're proud to be a part of it and what little way we are and um you know thrilled to to be on this journey with all of you and um just so excited for the world to see the show and and uh honestly to just to get the chance to talk to you today has been so great and we're going to have many more conversations once uh tours wrapped up and we come through town and see the show and come give you oh, all I can't wait uh you know yes, what do you call yes, it professional yes, yes. gap hugs um <laughs> professional <laughs> hug we may we may uh, shorten the the gap a little bit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love it no i'm well, so thanks grateful for you all thank you so much for um you know being interested in our in our show that hopefully is bringing people together through comedy in really unexpected ways and so um it means a lot to have y'all support of course of course here for it all and for everyone watching you guys thank you for supporting us thank you for watching and go and support the show go buy those tickets broadway is back yes. this is amazing this is our very hang out with us <laughs> love it all right awesome see ya. thank you well, let's all go thank you thank so much you. good luck i'll see y'all very very soon bye then thank you bye bye y'all bye